Now in this case, let me talk about one of the interesting features that is the supply curve of the perfect competition. Now let me plot uh, the uh, uh, quantity uh, of the output on the x-axis. And let me plot the quantity or uh, let me plot the price on the y-axis. Now uh, say for example, this is my price 1. Uh, which is equal to say for example 2 uh, uh, this is going to be my demand 1 so at price 2 demand d1 is demanded in the perfect competitive market now uh, in this case say for example the firm is looking to supply this amount of the quantity say for example q1 now let me move on and talk about another price say for example at the price 2 say for example 3 the demand is going to be d2 and the firm is going to supply this amount that is q2 now let me take another price say for example this is my price 3 that is equal to 3 and in this case the uh, demand is d3 and the firm is going to supply q3 now the question arises why does a firm supply this amount of the quantity why does a firm supply q1 over here and why does a firm supply q2 over here and why does a firm supply q3 over here the firm will supply this amount because it's uh, i will uh, drop a marginal cost curve over here because its marginal cost will be equal to the marginal revenue so at q1 the marginal cost of a firm is equal to the marginal revenue at q2 its marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue and at q3 its marginal cost is equal to the entry so the marginal cost curve has an identical shape of a supply curve therefore a supply therefore a marginal cost curve is actually the supply curve in a perfect competition because at each point the marginal curve, marginal, marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue uh, in thus the uh, firm is going to supply this amount of the quantity at this price and this amount of the quantity at this price and this amount of the quantity at this price in order to equate the marginal cost and the marginal revenue now uh, since we know that uh, these demand curves uh, are also the uh, marginal revenue curves of the perfect competition as we were talking in the previous video now uh, since uh, and this is the marginal cost curve of the perfect competition so the firm is equating the marginal cost and the marginal revenue at these points and thus the firm is supplying q1 uh, amount of the at, at this uh, at the price of 2 and the q2 at the price of 3 and at the price of 3 and the q3 at the price of 4 so the perfect in in case of a perfect competition the marginal cost curve is uh, has an identical shape of the supply curve and uh, that's why we say that a marginal cost curve in itself becomes the supply curve of the perfect competition